legs are fast, but this thing's got a lot of soul. It's got a lot of character. And it's got so much character and so much fun. It's not about going fast, it's just about how it makes you feel. episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Today, obviously, motorcycles and a very special bike. You know, the fun thing about uh, having this garage is when I see something out on the road, it's interesting. I just flagged the guy down and I go, hey, how you doing? I introduced myself and said, hey, can we put your uh, vehicle on, on the show? I think people get a kick out of it. And this is a home-built special based on one of the most legendary motorcycles of all time the Honda CB750. Ironically, I went to the British bike meet, which is BSAs, Triumphs, Vincent, Brough Superiors, Royal Enfield, all only British bike only, and sitting in the middle of it was this Honda, and I thought, well, this guy's gonna get killed. And I went over and I talked to him, I was so impressed. It looks like one of the race bikes. I don't know if it's a rep, well, let's find out. Vincent Scarelli, come on in, you built this bike, correct? Yes. And you are not a bike builder by trade, this is just a hobby? Yeah, it's just something I wanted to do. Uh, I've always admired the Honda race bikes. Right, and right. Mike Halewood, the whole thing. Sure, and I sure. Thought, I've seen people use various elements of of the, the CR, you know, the fairing or the right. seat or the tank. But I thought I'd go as far as I could go to make an actual replica of a Honda factory road race bike, but still be good for the street. And what year bike are we talking? Mid 70s? This is a 73. Okay. And when I got it, bought it from a, a riding friend, right. uh, it had been poorly customized. Yeah. So it was orange and had long forks, and uh, yeah, it was, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those step seats. Right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the banana seat. Yeah. Banana seat. Yeah, banana seat. Right. Very nice. Yeah, I thought uh, the only thing that was missing was I would have to wear fringes and or antlers or something on my helmet right, to right, yeah, be yeah. appropriate. But. It's interesting that you started with that. Did, I mean, mm -hmm. was, is this what you're looking to do when you saw that? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I knew exactly what I, all I wanted was a straight frame and an engine. Right. You know, everything else, everything else is different. You know, that's well, the deal. To those of us of a certain age, this is a legendary <laughs> motorcycle. When yeah. this came out in 1969, it's almost hard to explain to people how revolutionary it was. Absolutely. Most motorcycles are still kick-started, although Honda had been around for a few years. Yep. This was 750 cc, four cylinders, four carburetors, disc an brake. electric start, yeah. disc brake. Yep. Disc brakes were even like, what? And a bike? That's crazy. Yep. You know, yeah, crazy. With a hydraulic actuator, and it was what? Fourteen hundred dollars, some ridiculous thing like that. It, it was, I think, sixteen hundred. Okay. I, I bought a new one in '71. Okay. And well, that's there you go. Like. There Everybody go. that I knew had BSAs and Triumphs, and they yeah. all said, "Oh, don't get a Japanese bike. They're terrible. They're all yeah. stuff." And I had gone to a shop and heard somebody, the mechanic was idling one of them right. and revving it, and I just thought this sounded like like a jet. Yeah, Everything else yeah. was a biplane. This was a jet. Well, my first brand new motorcycle was on the CBX six cylinder because it was just yeah. six cylinders yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah yeah it's yeah. crazy you yeah know? nobody does that yeah and, and of course the early the sand cast engines those were the the yeah. really cool ones yep. yep so okay you know i have a 305 honda with this similar fa similar I, fairing on i it. saw it over in the room there. oh okay yeah, yeah. and so i always loved this look it always looked like yeah. a classic racing motorcycle so tell us uh, how long was the gestation period for this <laughs> is this years and years and years or a couple of months or uh, what it was unfortunately because I mean, I work full time, and this right. is my uh, you know evenings and Saturday thing. Right. So I bought the bike in 2007, okay. and just finished it a couple of months ago. Oh, oh so right, yeah, right, people right, have okay. children that are you know, yeah. children don't, don't take that long. There's no hurry. <laughs> okay, very. Cool. Now tell us about. Okay, is it a stock 750 motor? Have you modified uh, the engine at all? Yes, the I had engine work done on it. Um, I I don't have. I don't have a machine shop, right. so I disassembled it and brought the pieces up to APE Race Parts, mm -hmm. and they bored it out. So it's 100 cc's over. Okay. Uh, it has a mid-range cam in it. Um, they balanced the crankshaft. There's uh, new valve guides, stainless valves, oh, uh, kibble wow. white springs, uh, super rods. Oh, and everything inside is new. Right. All the chains, the primary chains, the tensioner, the guide, the cam chain, everything inside, every bearing and seal is new. And what was the, the horsepower stock when it was out? They were claiming 67. Okay, yeah, and that's right. You have different people at the, at the time tested it and said that it's more like 50-something. Right, so okay. And what do you figure you're getting now? 
you know, I don't know. Yeah. I know I'm getting more. People ask sometimes, oh, how, how fast can you go, or how fast is it? It's like, you know, it's a street bike. Right, I'm, right, yeah. I, you know, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't go, I'm sure it's not as fast as a modern 600 sport bike. Right, right, okay. Just, just the way no, it is. No, no, but it, it has the classic look, which is, uh, this is what a racing motorcycle looked like to yeah. me. Yeah, Even me the too. BSAs that Dick Mann rode and all that kind yeah. of stuff, yeah. they had this type of fairing. You know, yep. you, you tuck inside. Yeah. Uh, five-speed gearbox? Yes, yeah. five-speed. Yeah. Okay. yeah, do you see the, the chin pad here? Oh, right, yeah. You can yeah. Tell yeah. It, it's Mine needs to be a little bit bigger, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's just nice. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell it's never been touched by my chin. Yeah, I was going to say. I think yeah. Maybe if I, if I was a foot shorter and 100 pounds less, it would be perfect. And obviously the air was much cleaner in 73. There's no, yes, uh, you didn't need uh, filters. Yeah. 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 Isn't that a little scary <laughs> not having those on there? Yeah, well, there were screens in there oh, at the bottom, but the still, birds out. keep yeah. the birds out. Okay. But that's that's all. Uh, and the oil tank right here, very cool. Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, the roaster, if you know what I mean. And right. I, I think you do. Yeah. Um, it's it's not very comfortable. Right. But uh, it's it's kind of an adventure. It's more if important to look good than be comfortable. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's right. right. Okay. Right. Did you make up this tank? Uh, no, the, the tanks are aluminum, right. and they're from England. Uh, a company named Mead Speed oh, okay. provided them. They're C CR replica tanks. Okay. People use those parts and like the fairing and the seat to uh, make CR 750s for racing in Arma races. Mm. So, but I. Uh, I always like this tailpiece. Yeah, me too. I think it's beautiful. And you know, the four pipes were so exotic back in the day. Yeah. Uh, motorcycles yeah. only had two cylinders, and and then B at BSA and Triumph had the three cylinder, which is really just kind of cobbled together twin. But this yeah. with four pipes is oh my yeah. god! Yeah. It seems yeah. un unbelievable. Yeah. It just said race, even in right. stock form. It, I I made the tail light. Uh, sometimes when people oh, look use, at that. Very nice. yeah, when people use seats like these, right. sometimes they put some kind of a universal light right. you know, or a light from a Triumph or something right. on it, and I just thought it needed a light that would fit. Is the, that a brake light shape. as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It's all it's LEDs inside. Um, oh, done. I made a wood mold and made it out of lucite heated it up and formed it over the mold. Oh, that's so great. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. And of course, the dashes, those are the stock Honda dash. Uh, Gauges. Yeah, they're gauges from uh, CB uh, CB 400. Okay. So they're smaller. The right. CR7, the CB 750 gauges wouldn't fit under there. And this goes to nine grand. Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> well, the stock goes to eight. The stock yeah. uh, no, C, uh, CR, CB 750 right. goes to eight. And uh, with the heavy duty cylinder studs right. and board out and the cam and everything, they said that it'll go to over nine. So oh, wow. I just had them. The, the faces are new, so I had the, the guy. The mirrors are beautiful. Them. Yeah, those are nice. Those are English. They're Stadium is the company. Right. And I like the the curve of yeah. the, the front and that it's round. You can get them also in a different shape, but I thought no, the, the round, round was good. And, and originally, this only had a single disc brake on the front wheel. Yes. Because yeah. I thought, oh, when are we going to have the big magnesium double leading shoe? Yeah, yeah. But Honda didn't really have they had disc brakes, right? Yeah. Yes, for yeah. on this bike, their earlier bikes like the 256, right. you know, the Halewood bikes and right. things, those had the big uh, double leading and shoe brakes. And whose brake is that on the front? Who, whose disc brake is that? Oh, on? it's a Honda brake. That is Honda. Yeah, one. you okay. just get all the same parts, another set of the same, and just put them on the other oh, side. Oh, okay, Everything very just nice. switches over. You just have to put spacers on one side. And so of course, you kept, kept the electric start. Yeah, the electric start. Uh, I kept that. I uh, did away with the kickstart, right. and the battery is hidden underneath the swing arm. Oh, okay. It's attached where the uh, center stand used to be. Oh, so, wow. yeah, I wanted them to hide it as, I mean, as well I can't as they even could. See how little battery? Yeah, yeah. It's a little Shirai battery. Okay. It, it weighs a pound and a half. I've eaten sandwiches bigger than this. Really? really? It's, it's like a joke. So you can get a. Uh, 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 it, it, yeah, it's enough yeah. to start the thing. I remember Norton had starter assist. Yeah. Remember that yeah. you, you kick it once, and then you get one. Uh, 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 yeah, that's uh, right. That, that. And, and, okay, that's okay. Look, we, we tried to help. Yeah, we you. tried. We, we tried. tried to help yeah. you, but I'm sorry. But it's a British bike. Yeah. You should be kicking. Well, yeah. that was sort of the thing about Honda back in the '70s. The fact that they started every time in the electric because motorcycles were Absolutely. just meant to be greasy, dirty. You, know, you kick it, and that's yeah. you know, man, yeah. man's man, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, and Honda just bing, 
you know, hit the yeah. start and they go, you know. I, when I would ride with my friends who were all on their BSAs and Triumphs, um, I wouldn't even put on my helmet till they were finished starting their bikes. Right, because yeah, it was right. kicking and cursing and kicking and cursing, and I'd just be sitting there. Yeah, you just you know, wait. Then, yeah, exactly. yeah, put on the helmet and touch the button, and then we go. So, so yeah. you've always been a Honda guy. Yes, I've have, I have had other bikes. I had a Norton, I right. had a Triumph. I still have a Triumph, right. a 70 Bonneville, okay. like what you have here. Yeah, but Hondas, I don't know. I love them. I love the race bikes. Yeah, I mean, it's just the classic look and you're okay with cooling with the fairing I guess I well I guess it there's does. an oil cooler up here okay. also that's added on. okay yeah okay boy it's just beautifully done you really took your time doing yeah it. all 11 years I took my time I, yeah, <laughs> I yeah really yeah cool so I the engine doesn't have any coating on it uh, I didn't want it to be oh I noticed uh, that yeah. yeah Honda clear coated everything and they, yeah. they painted the lower case you know yeah and when that clear coating starts to peel it looks it, just it's awful. terrible it's yeah. all yellow and everything so does um, your family understand this bike do they get it? <laughs> are you married single I'm married yeah. uh, I have two daughters right. oh, two daughters uh, yeah How's that? So do they get this or is it mm, they think I'm weird anyway yeah. but uh, but they, they get it. The, the younger one, I think, wants it. So Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this is part of their whole childhood, isn't it? You've been working on it. Oh, thing. God. Yeah. yeah, well, they're, they're grown now, so they right. were actually out of the house when I started this. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, cool, cool. So you've always been a motorcycle guy. Uh, yes. I have been riding motorcycles and going to motorcycle hangouts since uh, 1969. Okay. And I've never seen one of these. Right. I, I saw a, a real one that belonged to... Uh, uh, Yoshi at Garage Company. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. he had one. And you and grew up out here? No, grew up in Long Island. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. came you're, out here. In where? The you ever go to Ghost Motorcycles? Yeah, yeah. in Port Washington. Huh? Yeah, that was a great place. You know who used to work there? Good. Scaramucci, you know that guy, the Mooch? And oh, the Mooch. I think he Yikes. worked at Ghost Motorcycles. Oh, really? I was told that. I don't know. Oh, weird. I don't know. <laughs> and then Billy Joel used to be there all the time. Billy Joel. I never saw him there, but I know he yeah, was a Long yeah. Island no, he's guy. He's a big bike guy as well. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. So did you have a seven? So you had a 750 back in the day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. On Long Island. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's a dangerous place to ride. It seems like more dangerous than L.A. Was it or no? People, people are crazy. They either don't see you or they see you and they don't care. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they're, yeah. yeah it's it's frustrating. Plus you I, get the New York attitude in there, and it's a little bit of both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. I get out of my way. Oil tank here. What are you running for oil? You run a synthetic? You run a straight uh, 50? No, I run a uh, Castrol GTX 2050. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've always I've always run that and yeah. always been satisfied with it. Somebody told me a guy who specializes in 750s said you have to have filters, you have to have filters. You'll only get you know 20,000 miles out of the motor if you don't have filters. Sure. And I said, you know what? I could be dead before I get 20,000 well, miles. Well, I'm gonna let's live it up. Like, they cool. look cool. Yeah. They look, and once again, so. looking cool better than. Anything. Actually yeah, that's right. That's right. And th these shocks are period correct, aren't they? Uh, yes. Um, actually, I got them new in the box, which I was surprised at. Um, they're from the 70s. Uh, they're aluminum body Coney shocks. Right. And uh, there's a Coney stopped making uh, motorcycle shops uh, shocks and started um, only making car shocks. But a company called Icon down in Australia mm -hmm. bought the rights and all the patterns and everything. Oh, okay. So you can buy rebuilding kits from Icon. So that's what I did with these. I rebuilt them myself. I re yeah. rebuilt the instruments myself. Beautiful job. And does it run on pump gas? Yes, high test. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it has high compression pistons, but as, as long as you don't lug it, yeah, it, yeah. it won't ping. You know? How about the wiring harness? Is that stock? <laughs> Uh, the wiring harness I made myself. I uh, just got lengths of wires. There are places that sell the vintage reproduction connectors with little oh, sure. clear boots around them. Right, right, okay. And uh, the striped wires, you can buy all that stuff. So most of the wiring is up in the up underneath here. There are relays for the horns and for the... Uh, so the this is all done in your garage at home, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you a yeah. machinist or anything like that by trade? or is No. It just, just a hobby? It's a hobby. I cool. restored antique furniture for a number of years. Oh, is that right? So I have feeling for finishes. And, yeah. You know, things that's like that. not as much fun to ride antique furniture. You just sort of sit. You right. don't get very far in the desk. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know. But you asked before about my wife, uh, or being being single or married. Right. My wife is very patient. I have to say, she's very patient. I was going to say, yes, yes. <laughs> you have to be very patient. Yeah. Have to be very patient. Yeah. She put up with the with the whole thing with all the the evenings down there and doing without some other things in order to facilitate this. Right, right. Well, it, it turned so. out great. 
it turned out great. And he did most of the work himself, so it must have been a yeah. fairly economical build as things go. Yeah, yeah well, the, the parts, all the parts were really expensive. But right. I took everything apart, stripped everything, rebuilt everything, did painted you paint it everything. Yourself? Yeah, painted it. That's beautiful. Made, I made a, a booth in my garage with uh, two by twos and plastic sheeting. Right, right. With an exhaust fan and a door and well, everything. It, it so. looks just fantastic. Well, thanks. Are those powder coated, uh, the mufflers? Uh, they're they? ceramic coated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the powder coating doesn't really stand up yeah, to yeah. The, the heat up at the, the header end. They yeah. start to get gray after a oh, while. Okay. But supposedly this won't do that. So, cool. Can you fire it up to hear what she sounds like? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, yeah. I, wanted to, I have this thing. What is that? <clears throat> I tried this out because. Yeah, it seems mysterious for a motorcycle, a piece of wood. Yeah. Down here, the linkage, to figure out linkage, how it would clear the pipe, because everything right. was so close. I wanted to see how I could move the linkage out from the pipe so it right. wouldn't interfere with it. And so I made this before I made an aluminum one. Oh, OK. Made that to try it out, held it on there, hooked the linkage up to it, did everything. Okay. And, it, and it seemed like it was going to be OK. Cool, cool. And so then I made that one. I carved that, that piece down there out of aluminum oh, and then nice. had it welded on to the back. Very nice. So cool. Um, I have my, my little magic key here. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to. Oh, and sometimes it works. Yeah, I heard a click. Oh, almost have the headlights off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it sounds great. Start with the lower button. Remember that sound. <laughs> Very cool. It won't idle when it's cold. Uh, it's idle, all right. How do you kill it? Top button? Yeah. There you go. Very yeah. Can we take it around the Someone's block? Gonna... What are you crazy? Oh, well, this is my bike. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool, cool. You know, all these super bikes are fast, but this thing's got a lot of soul, it's got a lot of character. There's something about a bike you build yourself that's maybe a little more satisfying than just buying something off the shelf. This is, this is really a pretty cool setup. Yo! It's amazing at just how fast and, uh, and cool you can make a 50-year-old motorcycle. Brakes are a little dicey, but that's okay. You want to ride within your limits on a bike like this. And it's got so much character and so much fun, it's not about going fast, it's just about how it makes you feel. And it revs so nicely. It's so different from the British bikes of the same period. Well, that thing's a lot of fun. Jay, how was it? It was great. It feels like it's, uh, it's breathing in and breathing out like they should. You know, it's what I call a Christmas bike with chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I'm sitting on this <laughs> oil tank. It's red hot. I'm like, ah, I am not going to have any children tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm but it, 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 you know, it's so much fun. It really brings back all the nostalgia for the period. You know, obviously there are faster bikes, but I don't think, I don't think even a yeah. modern faster bike gives you as much fun. I mean, it's the character, it's the sound, it's what I remember, yeah. you know? So it's, it's really fun. And of course, to look at that classic dashboard and, you know, and the clip-ons and the whole thing, you did a nice job. Congratulations. Thank really you. did a great job. Really did a great job. Thank you should you. start turning these out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another 11 years, we'll have another bike, right? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. We'll Very both cool. be too old. Well, thanks again, and thanks for bringing it by. Thank you. Thank oh, you for see, having me. It's always me. fun to have something built by just a regular guy, not a custom builder, not building it for a customer. This is something you built for yourself, and you can see, yeah. I mean, all the screw heads, the way you've done everything. It's really nice. So, so no, it's ironic. A man named Vincent driving a Honda. It's not right. Somewhere there's a guy named Honda who driving a Vincent wants a Vincent. You yeah. want to trade for I one of your Vincents? You guys, think, well, I wouldn't go that far, but it's <laughs> it's very good. Yeah.
Great. Thank you. Thank See you. See you guys next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.